Number 39. At what positions is the speed of a simple harmonic oscillator half its maximum? That is, what values of little x over big x give blah, blah, okay. So basically, um, we have to, we're taking, in, you know, we're taking, we're talking about relative positions and we're talking about maximum velocity and then like maximum displacement or amplitude and stuff like that. So I'm going to be using the formula right over here. All right, it says that the V max, the maximum velocity, will then be equal to uh, square root of K divided by M times then the maximum displacement, which is X, which is also the same thing as saying the amplitude. The amplitude is the maximum displacement, okay? What I'm going to do here is I'm going to write, instead of A, which I'd like to do for this one, I'm going to write X because I'll, I'll try to match it up to what they're asking. So this is going to be X max. Now, basically, all I have to do is just get rid of the max term, and I can say V not max is going to be equal to the square root of uh, force constant divided by mass times then the displacement, not max. All right. Now, what they want us to do is they want us to find the relationship. So keep that in mind. They want us to find this relationship. All right. This is basically saying not max X divided by max X. Okay. The capital X means max. So what I'm going to do here is I got two formulas. I know I have to find little, you know, not max X over max X. So what I basically need to do is I got to take this and divide it by this, right? I got to take little x over then the x max. So what we're going to do then is I'm basically literally just going to move this around. I'm just going to bring it under there like that and watch. So now I'm going to create a little fraction out of this. I'm literally just going to draw a line. <laughs> I'm taking one equation, one equation, dividing it by the other. When we do that, what happens to the radical x over m? Excuse me, radical k over m. What am I talking about? goes bye-bye, right? So now we have V not max divided by V max will be equal to X not max divided by X max. And we wanted to solve for this, right? And now, lo and behold, uh, that's what we have on the right-hand side, okay? So now, what exactly are they asking us? They're saying that uh, for the positions where, uh, so it says that uh, where the oscillator, so what positions is the speed of a simple harmonic oscillator half of its maximum. So that means if I knew the max, right? If I knew the max, I can take half of that and then find the not maximum velocity, right? Doesn't that kind of make sense? Now notice I have two, I have this variable, little v, not max, right? In terms of v max. So now what I can do, if I'd like, is I can substitute this on in for V in my formula. And when we do that, we're going to get V max all over two times V max, and that's equal to X not max over X max. And look, they cancel, and it leaves us with what we should expect. I mean, this is a, this is a linear proportional relationship, right? So it, there's no exponential tool whatsoever. So basically what we realize is that one half will be then equal to, let me not write the equal sign here. I'll, I'll just write an arrow. So basically we found that then one half will equal then not max X divided by X max. In other words, the velocity, okay, will be half of the maximum velocity when the displacement is one half of its maximum. And there you go. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe. See you next time.